Hi, I'm Randa Ray, and today we're going to find out who's cooking on the Daily Mix. You know, there's a lot more to grilling than just throwing some stuff on the grill, and we are here with the Rolling Grill to find out all the ins and outs of grilling and how to make stuff delicious. So, let's go find out who's cooking. Come on. Cook it real nice, uh, get the onions, peppers, get it really cooked well, and put the cheese on it, and it makes a good sandwich. And how long's your family been grilling? Uh, first, we owned a restaurant five years ago. That we closed that, then we moved to the food truck. Now tell me, what types of things can people expect to find when they come to the Rolling Grill? We have everything. We have uh, fish, tilapia, shrimp, steak Philly, ciabatta, our Bosnian food. Yeah. Ah, lots of Bosnian food, but yet yeah. an American twist too. So if you yeah, want, we, we gotta mix. Yeah, we mix it up a little. That's awesome. Well, let's go to the grill and let's make a chicken Philly. Chicken Philly. First, we put the chicken on. Okay. And this is chicken breast, right? Yeah, yeah. Not, not chicken, just flat chicken. Could you do it with any other cut of meat, or is the breast the best for this? Yeah, that's the best that we. Can. Okay. And then what do we do to this chicken? Then we add some onions on it. Okay. Now why are we using white onions as opposed to like red onions or something like that? Is it because the red ones are just so much more powerful and this is a little more yeah, mild? Yeah, that's what people usually like more too. Yeah. Okay. And we put some green peppers? Yeah, we have some green peppers. Put a little more in there. Now do we put any other, do we put salt, pepper, do we put any other seasoning? Yeah, of course we got some seasoning, the chicken seasoning that we put over okay. it. Okay. And add that a little bit. That's got some white pepper. Yeah, it gives a faint flavor more, you know. Okay. Now does it, uh, now tell me when you're cooking in here, what's the best part of being on a food truck and cooking for people who come to buy your food? The best thing? Yeah. The people, nice people. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So what's this now? This is our? This is our bread. We put a bread, put a little butter, make it nice. And is it better toasted than not toasted? People, some people like it uh, more crunchy. Yeah. So what, if they don't want it toasted, you wouldn't toast it. It's just whatever they want, right? Yeah, how they like it. Some people don't like it, you know, onions okay. on it, whatever. How they like it. That smells delicious. Oh. And I can hear it sizzle. Yeah. I love that sizzle. You know, they say you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. The colors in there, even though they're really mild, you've got these, the rich green of the green peppers, and you've got the, the um, seared brown, you know, grill from yep, the... Yep, yep on the chicken and then the onions are oh, they're looking they're getting clear yep that yep. smells amazing you gotta cook it nice and well so on an, any given day that? how many of these do you think you make a day like how many sandwiches do you make in one day do you think i'll say at least 40 50. we got all this other other things that people like too uh, like what we call uh, the steak philly shrimp usually yeah wow our lamb goes and our bottom goes so if somebody's looking for something really grilled to perfection, they want to stop by the rolling grill. Oh, All right, so what's going on now on our grill? Nothing. We're just going for the bread, get it nice and done. Uh -huh. And if people like mayo on it, we don't put mayo, but we usually do put mayo. If they want mayo, they yep. can have mayo. Yep. You know, that's, that's something I like. If this isn't a food truck where they come and they just take what you give them, they can actually tell you how they like it and you'll make it to their Yeah, they'll do exactly how they want it. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of meat. Yeah. You're not skipping on this sandwich at all. Nope. Just that add, looks delicious. Add it on there. Yeah. So how do you like yours? Just like that, or do you I, put, I put not, on it? I put nacho cheese on it. It depends what people like. Really? Yep. You put nacho cheese on yours? Yep. Wow. That's interesting. 
Are you putting nacho cheese now or no? Yep, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of your way. I like you do that here. nacho cheese. See, adding another depth of color to that. Yep. That bright yellow. Yep. I think most people wouldn't think of putting nacho cheese on a grilled filly. Yep. That's what we created. That's what and it sells the most. You know? Are we gonna eat this? Yes, of course. Let's cut it in half. You take half, I take half. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, where's our knife? That looks delicious. And you know what I like about it? It has all those, it's bright, it's colorful, it's not a boring, it doesn't look boring. Yeah. And I know it won't taste boring. No. I'm ready. Go ahead, take a bite. Don't see, don't see this is for me? Yep. Let's take a bite. It's gonna be hot, be careful. Okay. find us on Market or down on Wells Fargo. Right here, right on Market Street mm -hmm. or down on Wells Fargo. And if they want to find you on social media, can yeah, they? Um, yeah, we can also find us on social media, uh, STL, uh, Grab and Go. Grab and Go or STL. Yep. Alright, there you have it. If you want one of these absolutely delicious chicken fillies, and I'm guessing almost everything they make in here at the Rolling Gill Grill is this good. There you have it. Now you know who's cooking at the Rolling Grill. And you can usually find them around 8th and Market or check them out on social media. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook, but make sure you download the app to your mobile device. Thanks for watching Who's Cooking on The Daily Mix. I'm Raina Ray.